It's July 2015 and we're back in Perth once again. The city is looking great. There are new skyscrapers. Obviously the mining boom has paid off and made Western Australia very prosperous. London Court and the downtown city area look very much the same, except the population has reached the 2 million mark. Kings Park is as beautiful as ever. The eternal flame is still burning eternally and the war memorial still has its majestic post over the Swan River. People continue sitting in the sun and walking around the gardens admiring the views of the city. The first of the wildflowers are starting to bloom and in a couple of months' time, this place will be a blaze of glory of Western Australian wildflowers. The famous mother and child statue and fountain are still there, still going off like clockwork. But I suspect the double helix tower is actually increased in height. It seemed to take me longer to get to the top this time. took an hour's drive south of Perth to visit Mandura and enjoyed a canal and dolphin watching cruise. And of course we had lunch on board and here it's being delivered, fish and chips. It was pretty good. These canal side mansions are magnificent and an indication as to the prosperity of Western Australia. Now here they are, the dolphins, and from the bow I was able to capture this lovely video footage. Little wonder that so many holiday makers have fallen in love with Mandurah. The Perth dining scene has come a long way. We gave ourselves a treat by visiting Leaderville and travelled between three restaurants in a trishore of all things. Malaysian starters at Ria and a quick pedal down the hill to the very trendy Kitch. The sign is not exaggerating when it says the food is amazing. finish off we again mounted our chariots and back to foam for dessert and coffee. It was a really unique and fun experience, a great way to see some of the restaurants in Leaderville. Before catching our flight home, we spent an hour in the beautiful Queen's Gardens and finally said farewell to the most remote city in the world.